three as the subject. Well, bam. Last episode I talked about how I'm really thinking about buying a drone. I think I'm about to pull the trigger. Anytime I get like a new piece of technology or anytime I'm looking into a new piece of technology, whether it's a camera, whether it's a microphone for the camera, a laptop, like anything, I always go on YouTube. Like I'll read a couple blog posts, but I'll go on YouTube and just watch reviews, like review after review after review and look at all the comments throughout the YouTube section because it's people that have bought it and uh, get a feel for what I'm actually getting before I buy it. I'm looking at the DJI, DJ, why do I keep saying DJI? DJI Spark drone, which is like this big, it's like the size of your hand. I got big ass hands, so it's probably smaller than my hand. You can get the full package for around $500, which is very good compared to the other drones on the market. And I'm just looking at different videos. And as you can see on the video you just watched, it's so cool. It's like so, such clear footage using it. Even honestly, it might actually look cool above my town, like above my house. Probably not really, but it might. And it can fly over a mile, it's like a mile and a half. It can fly away from you and it will stay up in the air for like 15 minutes, 1080p footage. It's not 4K, but I don't really need that on my channel. I'm not a professional by any means, but it means that the content on my channel is going to be very cool going forward. I'm going to try to put some, uh, some drone footage probably in every week of the vlog from now on. And it gets such cool shots, man. I'm excited. So I think I'm going to pull the trigger after watching all the reviews. Everyone says it's totally worth the money and it's one of the cheaper but not low quality drones in the market right now. Happy Easter, Big Dog Nation. Sunday morning. I was chilling out. Bowling. My mom came in, gave me a big ass Easter egg. I ate the whole thing. I think I got chocolate on my chest. Probably still. Nah, we good. So I want to say happy Easter. I don't really know why. I don't care about Easter whatsoever. Neither do probably 95% of people. Well, they pretend they do, but no one probably really does. Stuff. So there is a virtual element to it, but you're right, Nick, you nailed it a second ago. It's more like the financial freedom is the front facing message. You notice there's nothing about virtual in yeah, any of that. Yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. And that's why I was like, the lifestyle ads are gonna play way more with that copy than anything yeah. that has to do with housing or anything. Once they get kind of already t touch on images here, right? But Nick, what would work better? Would it work better for you to be like, hey, I think it really comes down to just like raw, natural, what comes, you know, like what you think will resonate with the people, like what, what resonated with you in the beginning. Uh, and just wanted to send you guys a message. Normally say prior to us starting many chat, you know, someone comes and sends you guys a message. That was a call with my virtual real estate client. I haven't left my house yet today. We got another three to five inches of snow. I'm looking outside, I'm like, did we? My driveway's completely melted. And I realized I hadn't been outside and it was kind of warm out, so that's a big dub for me. Having it snow, not having to shovel. It's one of the few things. I don't get our weather here. Like, I mean, I get it. I've lived here my whole life. I don't know why I'm pretending I don't. There's no spring. You just get 30 degrees and snowy or like 50 degrees, and all of a sudden it turns into 96 degrees every single day in the summer. And then you're like, damn, I wish it was the winter again. But that's neither here nor there. Check this out. Check it out. Your boy made the purchase. Supposed to come this week. I bought the DG, DJI Spark. Look at that thing of beauty. It's got everything I need in the pack. It's supposed to come. There, it's right here right now. So three days, maybe I'll get some footage from it on the first day, but it's probably gonna be awful, so I probably won't include it. But next week, you'll get some drone footage. I get to see what my town looks like from God's point of view. Anyways, that's the end of my work day. Um, it's like 6.30 or 7 right now. I just got off the client call. Just took like an hour and a half. I think I'm about to go ahead to the gym and then call it a night. I'm actually, I finally finished the book, The Power of Now. It took me a long time to finish it, but I'm starting to read. This was like highly recommended to me as one of the, probably the best book for a small business owner. I'm not really a small business owner yet, but people in my position. It's called The E-Myth. And it's this guy who's like built plenty of companies and worked with people who are building companies. He consults with them. And he talks about how when you're building a company, overwhelming majority of small businesses fail in the United States on a yearly basis. And he goes and breaks down exactly why. And the points he makes are so spot on. He says that in order to succeed, right? And every one of us, whether you're whatever, you don't have to be an entrepreneur, which I fucking hate that word, by the way, but you don't need to be like a creative entrepreneur type. But in every one of us, there is a technicianer. And a lot of the shit he talks about relates to me because I see that in myself. He talks about when you're starting your small business, all you want to do is be the technicianer. Why do I keep saying technicianer? It's technician, I 
I guess, right? You want to do like the dirty work and all you see is the work in front of you. And that's like kind of how I feel with the fantasy football. All I want to do is write, research and like do that over and over again. It's like, uh, you're a really good baker. So you open up a bake shop. You're a really good car mechanic, right? So you open up a mechanic shop. One of those, right? Your small business is based around the skill that you have. And the problem that people have is letting go and thinking that the only reason your customers come to you is because of you, because of your personality, because of things you bring to the table. But if you're not able to get, this is like a part of me that's very skeptical about it, but I know that it's like the right move that I have to kind of start removing myself from some of the processes that I work on. I can't be in the grind every single day doing every little job. I can't do the accounting, the design work, optimizing campaigns, reporting, writing every blog post, SEO, editing video, publishing it, answering every single email comment that I get. It's just like, you feel like you have to do it and you feel like if you don't do it, it won't get done correctly, but that's on you. It's totally in your mind or in my mind, you know? So that's something I have to kind of work on myself. But the only way to grow your business is to, you don't want to work in your business. You want to work on your business. You've probably heard that before, but that means taking a step back from the things that you do on a daily that need to be delegated and you need a manager inside you. You need someone who is going to kind of put out the fires and you need someone who's going to manage and organize things. And then you have the entrepreneur, the, the vision behind everything and the innovator. And he breaks down like what each part entails and like how you successfully become a part of one. And when, when you take over too much of one or the other, that's why small businesses fail. You create your business because you want more free time and you, you want to get rid of the boss, but before you know it, you're a technician or who's really good at one thing and you have to take on all these other things that you're not good at. And that's why you get overwhelmed quickly and fail. But I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's a really good read so far. I've gone through like 70 pages of it in like a day. So I'm cruising through that bad boy. Anyways, that's it. So the drone is here, delivered in like two days. That's awesome. It's Tuesday. I wasn't supposed to get it till Thursday, I didn't think. So this is the Fly More combo, which comes with like the remote and a bunch of batteries and the battery charging kit and all this stuff. So awesome purchase. I'm excited to use it. It's raining out right now. And it's really terrible weather. So hopefully it gets better this week and then I could try it out and throw some footage in this bliach. So stay tuned for that. So it's like 8.30, almost 9 p.m. Tuesday night. And if you're a football fan, you just heard the news that Brandon Cooks was traded to the Rams. It's like, I don't care about, but me trying to be in the industry for fantasy football means I gotta do the work. So late at night, this is when things break. It's a blessing and a curse in the fact that I'll always have content to produce, which is good, but like this is when I have to do it. And it just goes to show if you're willing to put the work in, you know, speed is in my opinion, so much more important than perfection. And don't get perfection confused with good content. If you're not good, if you're not good enough at whatever you're doing, it doesn't have to be content, but whatever you're doing, like there's a very large chance that you're just gonna fail. Cause not everyone's that good enough to do something on their own or something that's a great achievement. So like I'm starting this article right now the news broke like an hour ago. I wanna be the first person to have a video up on YouTube that has thorough details that really gets into the nitty gritty. And if I can hit that and be the first person to get one up, that will get a ton of views and hopefully bring me on another 50 or 100 subscribers. This is what you gotta do in the day in the day out grind. If you're the first one there, you're gonna, you know, early bird gets the worm, it's true. You just gotta be willing to put the work in and that goes for anything. It'd be just as easy for me to be like, uh, it's nine o'clock, I'm tired, like my bed is right there. Let me lay down and watch something on Netflix. But like, no, this is what I committed to, you know what I mean? So if you wanna get somewhere, you have to have that motivation. And it's just, it's not something you can teach, but you know, it's just gotta be there. So just wanted to throw that at y'all. It's Wednesday morning and right here we got the big contract that I have been talking about for the last couple videos. I uh, got the work over from the client. I'm about to sign on the dot. So I wanted to, you know, get it on film. Why not? This is my first big, big, big contract. Signing it with a very special pen that my boy Steve got me. He works at Tiffany's, like the high-end jewelry store. And he got me this pen. I don't know if you can see that. It's engraved with BDGE on it. Actually, every contract I've really had, I've signed with this pen. When I make my six figures, the first six-figure contract I sign is gonna be with this. I'm gonna take a fat picture. It's gonna be dope, I'm signing over my life. 
Okay, for four, four. Four, four, four. Okay, four, five. Yeah. Thank you for a 20. So contracts, just another part of figuring out how to do shit on your own, right? When you're starting a business, you wanna keep capital as low as possible. You wanna have no unnecessary business expenses. And mainly what I've invested in is just my time, a lot of time, and that's the way the future of business is going because content is how you build a business nowadays. And content just takes time. So many people want to, you know, like I don't have a lawyer, I don't have an accountant, I don't have like an attorney looking over this stuff. You just figure the shit out. You just figure it out. It ain't that hard. Be resourceful and you'll be all right. I went in the first time I had to send over a contract. You know, like you close the client and they're like, okay, are you sending over a contract or should we send so over something? And then you're like, oh shit, that's another part of this that I need to figure out. So you go on Google and type in client agreement contract and you look at the first five things that pop up and you read them and then you figure out a template and then you just do it. People starting out wanna get uh, an accountant, they wanna get a lawyer, they wanna become an LLC, they wanna pay money for a website design, they wanna pay money for a logo. It's all just shit. It's all just shit that makes you feel like you've done a lot, but you really haven't done anything. The shit you wanna do the least is the stuff you have to do. Creating a website's fun. I could tinker with my website for six hours today and I would be like, this is awesome, this is fun. Well, for me, because I'm maybe I'm a psycho, but at the end of the day, that gets you nowhere. That doesn't push you forward to the next step in your business. And I was just thinking about that because I was thinking about contract the first time I had to make one, right? I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never written a contract, client agreement contract before, right? You work in an office, you don't have to worry about that stuff. But yeah, I'm just saying if you're starting something, if you're looking to start your own, whatever it is, business, independent contractor status, stop wasting your time on shit that doesn't matter. No one cares what your logo looks like. No one cares if you're paying an attorney. No one cares if you have an LLC. You don't need that shit. It's all a waste of time and money to make yourself feel better. I just got a video out this morning. I was talking about it, how I was out late last night working on it, got it out this morning. I think it's probably the first video on YouTube on the subject and it's a big subject. So I'm hoping that we can, ooh, look at that thing popping out. I'm hoping that we can bring in a lot of views from that video. So still really crappy weather out. So I don't think I'm gonna fly the drone yet. Hopefully tomorrow it's nicer and I could take that bad boy for a spin and put some footage in this. Other, ooh, what else did I, I actually got this really awesome backpack yesterday. So it's called, it's a company called Incase and they specialize in, it's like a camera backpack kind of, but it's for travel, right? So now I can fit my camera lenses, all my cameras with the mic, I can fit my drone in here and take it all with me because normally if you're traveling to like going for a weekend to wherever, Boston or California or whatnot, it's hard to stuff that shit into just a duffel bag or a backpack without worrying about breaking it. And all this stuff is super padded on the side so I can bring along everything that I need to. And it fits a laptop on the other side and all that stuff. So that's an awesome purchase. It was about $100, so it was a little expensive, but it's definitely an investment that is going to positive ROI. What else we got going on? That's about it. Wednesday is my blog. Day. So normally, you know, yesterday was filming and editing up videos. Today, you know, a video came on command, so I had to make it and, and edit it today, but the rest of the day is gonna be dedicated to blogging, and I'm just gonna write and write and write and write until I hate myself, and that's really it. which is a ton more than Freeman. Hmm. And had a monstrous year. I mean, fifth most, I will say this. It's Thursday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, around two o'clock. I'm heading to go grab lunch with Steve. He's leaving for Carolina. So, oh, Jesus. Tonight, still rocking the boomstick as my source of radio in Kelly's, my sister's car. He's leaving for Carolina tonight. It fell through. I'm not going with them because uh, his cousin that he was visiting down there just had a baby. So they're doing a lot of family stuff and it's not going to be the vacation that we had originally planned where we are probably going out and doing a bunch of fun shit, but it's okay. I have a bunch of work I gotta get done anyways this weekend, so it's probably better that I don't go. As we're meeting for lunch, we're going to Applebee's, hitting the Bees Bar. They got dollar marks all month long. Let's get it on. See what's cracking for the rest of the day. Uh, still haven't got to fly the drone because it's super windy out. And I've never actually flown the drone before. 
like all the clips from California where my friend who owns the drone was doing them and I just took it from him off the computer. So the first time I want to do it, I want to make sure it's like perfect weather conditions. I don't want to do it in windy. I don't want to do it when it's raining or anything because I don't want that shit to just like fly out and smack a bunch of trees. And I'm like, all right, all right. So uh, probably have to be next next vlog. Got a Talk fantasy to football back. podcast. All right now, fantasy footballers. They're one of my favorite podcasts to listen to. Still think. I could have been the fantasy footballers if two of my friends wanted to put in the work with me, but it didn't work out that way. Oh, this guy's gonna let me turn, what a guy. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's probably gonna wrap up this vlog. So I'll see y'all when there's more going down my esophagus.